words of the first American dictator. What, I'm afraid what's that's right. When you yeah. listen to exactly what he said, he said, get rid of the ballots and there won't be a transfer of power. Frankly, there will be a continuation. Now, your viewers need to think about that. There won't be a transfer. We have had a peaceful transfer of power ever since George Washington, even in the Civil War, even in World War II. For the first time, we have a president who basically says, heads I win, tails you lose. It's all rigged unless I am the winner. And the way I will prove that is I will call a halt to the counting of ballots if I'm ahead in the evening, and I will say I'm the next president. I'll, I'll have the military to back me up. We are watching the destruction of our democracy. This is not just an election between the Democrats and the Republicans anymore. It's not just between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. It's an election between democracy and dictatorship. And that has concrete consequences. He is setting it up so that he will have a majority on the court. He is rushing an appointment. He's going to name someone on Saturday, and he's got a guarantee already from the Senate. Sight unseen, you bring her before us, and we'll give her a thumbs up. And he has said the reason he needs to do it before the election is so that he's got a court that will back him up if he wants to steal the election. We are watching in real time the destruction of something precious, something that we've had from 1787. It's been flawed. We've had slavery. We've had Jim Crow. But we've moved toward a more and more inclusive democracy until now. And now we have someone who says, get rid of the ballots. People have died for the right to vote. And this guy says, get rid of the ballots. I've never heard anything like it.